minus 15 seconds. You see it before me. Two plus twenty. Cut out. Everything continuing to look good on the Merlin 1D engines. We're throttling back up on the side boosters to full power. Oh, and there, it there it is. The flight, yeah. Performance looks nominal. That's it. So far, and it looks so huge. Holy Early crap! Next event coming up in about two minutes. We'll Giggity. hear call out of chilling of the MVAC D engine. Let and it go. Liquid oxygen to the top of the turbo pump to get the second stage engine ready to chill for ignition in just a couple of minutes. Put it around. Yeah, okay. So bad. Let it go. We're two minutes into flight. We begin oh, to decrease thrust on the side boosters to minimize acceleration and loads on the Falcon Heavy structure. We've turned off one engine on each of the side boosters to decrease that load. Now our next major event coming up here in about 10 seconds, shutdown and separation That's of the shut side down. boosters. We should see the side boosters come off, maybe. Well, no, we won't. But they'll relight you like shortly after. Like four seconds later. Uh, I can't remember. Look, 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 look. Woo! Wow, look. Oh, man. That's so pretty. And it's going to do like the spirally thing. What? Is that what you saw that one thing? No, it's even crazier, but that's, that's beautiful. Look at that. I've got to turn this on. Everything looking good on the Falcon Heavy. Next event coming up in about 15 seconds will be shutdown of the center core, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. All right. First stage is shut off. Second stage is going to kick on, I guess. Right? Good views of the two side boosters. You can still see the side boosters. Yeah, where are they? Just standing there? Slowing down the velocity <laughs> and coming back towards Cape Canaveral. We have shut down on the center core. Stage separation confirmed. Nice. Oh, Look at that. All right, boosters are out. Now the boosters have to come back. The center core is gonna land like 11 minutes out that way. Like. Boost back shutdown. The center core, you can see, is not doing a boost back. It's heading downwind to the drive ship. Here comes ferry separation. Carrying stuff. Confirmation of the payload current separation. Nice. So far, four minutes, 17 seconds of the flight. Second stage looking good. With orbit carrying the 24 satellites. The side right, one is a relight of the side boosters. Coming back to Cape Canaveral. The center core has 
separated and is beginning its long coast range to the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. So at four minutes, 35 seconds and counting, everything looking good on Falcon Heavy. That came up like, I guess, where the red towers are blinking at, right? Like, relative to here. boosters are making their way back. Their grid fins on all three boosters should be deployed, and those are help guiding them to their landing zones. As a reminder, today we will be attempting to recover all three of these first stages, and all three boosters are currently making their way home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn followed by a landing burn, and the center core will do the com will complete the same burns just a few minutes later. Both burns are used to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pad. The center core is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we're using our autonomous drone ship, of course I still love you as we mentioned earlier. As a reminder, our drone ship is positioned twice as far offshore than normal, so we may not get visuals of landing tonight. Also coming up in a few minutes will be the call out for second engine cutoff. So coming up in about a minute here, we're gonna look for that side burst side booster re-entry burn to begin. Shortly after that, that should end about 20 seconds later. See if you could spot the boosters when they come back on. You can see both of those boosters on the infrared camera on the left side of your screen. You see them coming down? Um, they're not on yet. seconds until we expect those side boosters entry burn to begin. So keep an eye on the left side of your screen. There, there, there. In There's both. Seconds, we should see those side nice. Reignite for their entry burn. That's so pretty. We have confirmation that the entry burn has begun. That's it? And in about 15 seconds from now, we expect that to end. Uh, oh, wow. That's probably all we're going to see. We'll see this. Um, all right. Let me hold this. Like, right on here. I gotta see if we can spot the center core relight, and that should be in like a couple minutes. As we mentioned earlier, minute. the center core entry and landing is going to be risky. During entry, we'll face more heating and dynamic than we've ever experienced on Falcon 9 or Heavy Flight it's before. Toasty. Why, you ask? Because we have to lift the second stage higher and faster than other Falcon Heavy flights in order to have enough performance in it to execute four burns. 
turns into all the different orbits. So coming up at T plus 9 minutes and 39 seconds, we should see the center core entry bar ending. Center core entry bar. Second stage oh, we have the confirmation. Looks like I wonder if we missed it. For it to begin. So we're a little bit off the timeline. Center core entry bar is shut down. And we had just heard the confirmation that center core ah, entry bar is shut think down. We missed it. And now that the entry burn is complete, the center core is moving back about 20% faster than it was at the end of the Falcon Heavy 2 Arab Sat entry bar. First stage came out as expected. Now we're coming up, we're just about a minute away from that center core landing burn beginning. And as we've been mentioning, this will be the most difficult landing that Fire we've had to date. This will be a three-engine burn. That center, that center engine will start up first, and then two outer engines will start up as well for that landing burn. And we're just 30 seconds away from that center core landing. And it's no surprise that we do not have a live view of that center core as it's coming down, but it looks like we got a live view of the drone ship there. Of course, I still love you. About 30 seconds. If you're just now tuning in, we're just about 10 seconds away from that center core landing burn beginning. And we have confirmation that the center core landing burn has begun. Let's see that coming down Ooh, on the horizon. Oh, splish splash. <laughs> that went swimming. And as you can see on our screen, it went into the water. Satellite. That's everything, the whole entire payload, the 24 satellites that they're trying to send to space. Bye guys.